All right, some of you may recall last April we went out that way. Well, this time we're going to stay on Harry Wade Road and go this way a few more miles and see where the mostly underground Amargosa River comes to the surface and crosses the road. There's Roxana at the edge, and wow, we came at the right time because in January this was dry. There's not always water here, but wow, there's sure a lot of water this time. Here it is, the Amargosa River crossing in Death Valley National Park in Death Valley itself. The actual low point is out there. But this is all part of Death Valley. Amargosa River is the underground river that terminates at the low point at Badwater. It's feeding the spring there, basically. I don't know what the wind, but the river starts north in Nevada, comes all the way down and around this, and up into Death Valley. It is mostly underground. It pokes above the ground in Shoshone area, probably a few other places. It makes like a spring at Badwater, but it's basically the termination of the river. And often dry here, or just be muddy or a little trickle, but we got some good flow today. That is very muddy. Would definitely want a four wheel drive, which I do not have. You need a Jeep or something to get across, or something with real four wheel drive and some serious clearance because that you're going to be bogging down in mud and that's got to be a good foot and a half of water there. And then there's more water flowing over there. We were just talking to that guy for a minute. Yeah. Oh boy, that's muddy. <laughs> yeah, I did not think we would make it through that. He's driving off into Death Valley that way. Oh, flowing. it's really flowing strong right now between all the storms we've had. We're here March 5th, 2023. It is a little windy, but yeah, it's 65 or so, 60 degrees. Beautiful scene. A little dusty out there, not too bad. Some snow out there on the mountaintops. Roxana found another balloon. These things float in and litter the desert all over. out of the wind here. This is really muddy. I'm not going to step on it. Pretty good flow. What a scene. What a beautiful place to be. Wow, out of the wind is just perfectly silent here. The gently flowing Amargosa above ground for just a few miles here. We're 10 or 15 miles away now, but it's been dry for quite some time. And this is where the river would flow in underground, of course, but it's flowing in between those two small hills and then hooking back to the north. So it flows north to south and then here is where it kind of starts meandering north again. As you can see, it's quite dry. The river's underground. We're almost to the pavement. We're going to head into Baker for some food. Thanks for coming with us.